Welcome to Cricket World TV. Time for another of our talking point shows. And we're going to be talking about the Ashes. Tom, the dust has pretty much settled on England's defeat, or Australia's win, I should say, at Lords. Just give us a quick summary from your point of view. Yeah, we knew that the Australians had come back fighting, and they certainly did that from, um, from ball one, from day one. They looked on top, and England found it very difficult to get back, especially on that wicket. There wasn't much in it for, for the bowlers until England batted, it seemed. <laughs> um, but Australia seemed to just take the game by a scruff of the neck and went on from there. Yeah, very disappointing for me the way that England, they didn't mm. seem to be either batting for their lives or thinking, well, we're going to go and try and chase these down yeah. and, and smack. They seem to be caught a little bit betwixt and between and uh, very disappointing. Moving on then, looking ahead to edge past mm. and the third test gets underway next week. England have made one change to their squad, balance out, Johnny Besto in. Yeah, we we weren't surprised that there was going to be some sort of change. Now, that we didn't necessarily think that was going to be personnel. We thought they might sort of reshape the order a bit here and there, but Bairstow deserved his chance. It was seemed to be between Balance, uh, Lithe and Bell. Uh, Bell's kept his place, gone up to number three. He's got a good chance to score some runs in front of the home crowd. Lithe, you know, we've seen him score 100 this year at Headingley at his home ground. Hopefully that might work for him, Bell, like we say. And, um, yeah, I'm sure they'll come back fighting like the Australians did. And, and what about the, the way that the ECB named the squad very quickly? So this is the squad, this is the batting order. I suppose that means that the players know where they're batting, mm. they've got time to prepare. Yeah, they, they've, got a, they've got a week off, so I'm sure they'll have a little bit of a rest, time to almost forget about that, that Lord's Test match and give themselves a chance to get in the nets, work hard with each other and, and with the bowling machine, I imagine, and, um, and hopefully come back fighting, like we say. Now, England might be hoping that a little bit of history repeats itself because uh, 2009 Ashes, cast mm. your mind back, Headingley, absolutely <laughs> smashed by Australia. They responded by putting a Warwickshire batsman, Jonathan Trott, in at number three for the next test, which they won, mm. and they won the Ashes. What chance have they got of doing that? Well, Ian Bell's gone three at his home ground, um, and he doesn't, he, you, know, you don't score over 8,000 test match runs for no reason. He, he knows he's got it in him. He's out of form. We can see he's out of form. But let's hope that that number three in front of a sellout crowd at its home ground works. A few days away now, Australia mm. about to start a, a tour game against Derbyshire, but uh, early prediction for the test? I want to say draw. Um, mm. We'll see how the Australians get on at Derbyshire. I think that they'll, they'll be confident there. They'll look, to, they'll look to score some more runs, keep the confidence up, but you never know. Good stuff. Thanks, Tom. Well, for what it's worth, I actually fancy an England win at Edgepaston, but for now, from Cricket World TV, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.